guys and welcome back to my channel today i'm going to be filming a q a which i have not done for a year i cannot believe it i haven't done a q a for a year so this is really overdue i asked you guys to ask me questions on twitter instagram snapchat everywhere and you guys have been sending in your questions and i'm looking forward to answering them so without further ado let's get straight into this video so i've got the questions saved onto my phone in no particular order i'm just going to be going through them the first one is from thea newland i believe i'm saying that correctly so she sent me a question on snapchat she asked me have you ever owned any pets before if you could get any pet you wanted what would you get and why so yes i have had many pets in the past um the first one i ever had was a cat when i was younger it was called chloe but unfortunately it passed away but that was way before my sister was born so that was a very long time ago i also used to have a hamster but it bit out of the cage bit my mum so that had to go back to the shop then i also had a fish in my room which again died but then i never had any pets after that if i could have any pet I would either have a cat or a dog. I feel like I want to say dog because it's more of like your companion, your friend. Um, a lot of my friends have dogs and my neighbour has a dog and I absolutely love her. Like, I love her. She's like a little teddy bear because she's a cockapoo, so she's so cute. Dogs are like companions, but then cats are really cute and cuddly, so yeah. So I don't know who this next question's from because I screenshotted the snap, so I'm really sorry. So let me know if you ask this question in the comments. Do you want your channel to be as big as Zoella's? Now, for one, my channel's never gonna be as big as Zoella, like, let's get realistic here. But I don't think I'd ever want it to be as big as Zoella's because I feel like, for me personally, when I start watching YouTubers and they're like small, then they get bigger it's kind of like they get more opportunities like they get to write books they get to have their own ranges out they get to have whatever so like for example zoella has books she's got her own beauty range and all these other things she's in madame tussauds she's got a wax work when things like that happen i feel like they get not carried away but so caught up in all this other big stuff that their youtube channel just gets left and that's kind of what started them off so i feel like yeah, I mean, I don't feel like Zoella does that. I feel like she kind of manages it quite well. But it's just sad to think that YouTube is what started you off. And now, all of a sudden, you're doing all these bigger things. Some people drop their YouTube a little bit for these bigger opportunities. And I don't think I'd ever want to do that. I just do YouTube because I enjoy it. Um, obviously, it's great to get opportunities from it. But, yeah, I don't know. I don't think I'd ever want to be that big. But... Let's just see where it goes. The same person asked, does your boyfriend have a YouTube channel? No, he doesn't. And I don't think he ever would because he's just quite a shy person. The last question this person asked was, do you want to stay at Ted Baker forever? No, <laughs> I don't want to stay at Ted Baker forever. It's not something I see myself doing forever. I don't want to progress to be like the big boss or anything like that, so no. I don't see myself there forever. Sorry if my camera's moved slightly. Next question is from Megan West and she asks, who inspired you to start YouTube? So I think I may have answered this question in the past. I don't feel like anyone really inspired me to start. Like it was always just a thing that I would do like for fun when I was really young, but I'd like make videos and stuff, but obviously it would never get uploaded anywhere because I was like really young. I'll have to find the videos of me like vlogging when I was like eight and I'll try and put it into a video. If you want to see that, hit the like button or comment down below. Yeah, I used to always do it just for fun and just because I liked talking to a camera is really weird. But if I was to say that someone inspired me, it would have to be like all the beauty vloggers that I watched, the like the daily vloggers, like Zoella was one of the first. Um, who else did I used to watch? Like, um, Crazy Ray Ray, so Saray. Um, who else was there? Like Rihanna and Ashley. Those sort of people are the videos that I like to watch. Chloe, I want to say, I always say your last name wrong. It's Fraud or Fraud? Fraud? Chloe, hi. Um, what's your favourite TV series? Realistically, I don't actually watch so much TV. It's always YouTube. Um, but my favourite TV series when it was on was Love Island. 100% love it so much. Danielle asks, sick form or college? 
So I went to sick form, but if I was to do it from like a point of view, if you had to choose, I would say they're just as good as each other. So you can still go to college and do like BTECs or whatever and still be able to go to uni and do what you want to do and you can also still go to sixth form and do your a-levels or do an apprenticeship afterwards or do um university afterwards it just depends on your like career path but honestly i think they're both as good as each other and moving on to the twitter questions so amy whittaker said what is your favorite eyeshadow palette at the moment so i'm going to put a picture of it here because i don't have it on me but it's the revolution palette i can't remember what it's called but i'll put it here and i'll put the name here on the screen or something but this is my favorite eyeshadow palette it's like the one that i use when i go out so yeah i really like the pinky shades in it so yeah so this is at Duh, it's Megan. So Megan says, what do you think you'll be doing in 10 years time? Now that is such a good question. In 10 years time, I hope that I've moved out. I hope that I am in a job that I am stable in and happy and enjoy. I hope that me and Christian are still together. In 10 years time, I hope to have a new car. In less than 10 years time, I hope to have a new car. But 10 years time, I'd like to have a beautiful car beautiful car what else 10 years time i hope to be rich and famous i'm joking 10 years time i hope to have the smile that i've always dreamt of because <laughs> i've had these for three years now but i'm pretty sure they'll be off next year not 10 years time but yeah someone called ria uh, so at ria Kier xo on twitter asks what song reminds you of yourself I don't even know. Okay guys, so I've come to a conclusion and I've asked Christian what song he also thinks would describe me and we have agreed on Man's Not Hot because I'm a very energetic person. Like, if you know me in person, I'm very loud, like energetic and very like out there and I'm always happy, positive, like let's go. So Man's Not Hot. <laughs> You done though. <laughs> the girl told me to take off your jacket. I said, babe, man's not hot. <laughs> Moving on to the Instagram questions. Shannon Shannon Ray asks, Do you travel much? Where is on your bucket list? So I don't travel loads, um, but next year is like the most I've ever traveled in a year. The one place that was on my bucket list was America, just in general, anywhere in America. And I did that this year. And I'm also doing it January, I'm going to New York. Um, and then I'm also planning, hopefully, to go to America again in the summer, but Florida. And then in the September, I'm hopefully going to Turkey as well. I've got a lot of holidays planned next year. Bucket list is definitely America, New York, which I'm going to, which I'm so, so grateful and excited for. I've always wanted to go to like Australia or um, Japan, because I think that would be really cool. Um, oh, Santorini. I'd feel like I'm in Mamma Mia then. The next question is from Logie Forsyth. Logan, let me just plug his channel right here. Link is in the description. I think he's having a break at the moment, but go and subscribe to his channel because I know him personally. He's a G. So he said, why did you start YouTube? I feel like I've already covered this question, but I'm gonna answer it again anyways. I started YouTube because I'm a very like creative, loud, like outgoing person. I feel like this is a really great way to like express myself. And I really enjoy like just, this is like my thing. Like, I don't know, I really enjoy being creative, like editing, I love editing, I love the filming, I love like the setting up of everything. And I just like filming myself, like even just vlogging, like I love filming my life and putting it on YouTube. I just, I really like it. That's probably why I did start YouTube, to like express my creativity and yeah, also try and make people happy and positive. I want to make people happy when they watch my videos and yeah. The next question is from L Jane. Uh, what are your plans for 2018? So, have really got many apart from obviously my traveling plans, which I just spoke about. But I'm still at Ted Baker, um, don't know how long I'm going to be there, see where it takes me. I just see where life takes me, I feel like the motto is everything happens for a reason, I really stick by that, so I feel like if it's meant to happen, 
it will happen. But plans for 2018, I really hope to get a new car. Um, not brand new, but a new car. But if I was to plan out my perfect 2018, I would say for me to be happy as I can be, because you can't be happy all the time, have a positive year, surround myself with my friends, family, everyone I love, live life to the full, say yes to all the opportunities, and yeah. Next question is from Katie, and she said, what is your New Year's resolutions? Shall we wait for my New Year's resolutions video? plugging in my channel right there. I'll give you one. My main New Year's resolution is to keep up with the gym. I've been so on it for the gym and I've been loving it. So that's one of my New Year's resolutions, but stay tuned for a video coming up where I'll be telling you my 2018 New Year's resolutions. Kaya and Music on Instagram asked me, what are you most excited for in New York? I can't even say one thing. I'm excited to go with my bestest ever friend, Paris. Um, I'm really excited for the shopping, really excited just to see like the sights because I feel like we've wanted to go. Like me and Paris since we were so young have wanted to go. So it's like been a dream. Um, just you see it in like films and everything and to actually be there is gonna be incredible. I'm sure the food's gonna be amazing too. And hopefully it will snow. So fingers crossed if it snows, that would be awesome. Rob from my work asked if you could collab with any YouTuber, who would it be? I would love to collab with Saffron Barker because I absolutely love her videos. I don't know who else. Amber Knight. I forgot the last question was sent to my DMs um, from Anna. She said, will you be doing any makeup tutorials soon? I can do makeup tutorials. You guys let me know if that's something you'd want to see. Um, I'm not amazing with makeup, but I can try. Leave some comments down below if that's something you'd want to see and let me know what makeup looks you'd like me to do. The only one I've really done is my everyday makeup routine and my clubbing routines. If you haven't seen that, go check it out on my channel. That's all the questions. Thank you to everyone who asked them. If you want to get involved next time, don't forget to follow my social medias. All the links are in the description down below. If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to click subscribe because we're almost at 700. Way! Leave a comment down below of some videos that you'd like to see for next year so I can get planning. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye! Walking 7 a.m. in the morning, she's calling, I'm yawning, she's jarring, no stalling.